Good morning, good morning again. So, we did the pre-trip. We got down here to our first pickup, which is a construction site. I don't know exactly what we're picking up. It says some kind of roll cradles going out to Tulsa. But one thing I was thinking about, you know, I normally don't do this from the truck, but as we were thinking about it, or as I was thinking about it coming over here, you know, safety is going to be your number one thing, okay? But then you have to, once you're on the road, you have to get into um, the time management of it. And the time management should start before you get in the truck. And what I've done is I've laid out, I've laid out all my stops on here. So um, I pretty much has, have it figured out for here. This place opens up at 8 o'clock, and it's really not an open thing. It's just here. Um, so they expected me at 8. It's now, by the time I backed in here, I got here at 7.45. It's now 7.53. Um, like I said, it's just, a, it's just a parking lot. So to make a long story short, what I want you to start thinking about is time management skills. Uh, this morning when I got up, you saw it was dark. I had my coffee. I'm not rushing. Um, 5.30, I had, uh, that's what time I got up, maybe 5.15, something like that. And so, so but to, to, to put you in my mindset, to make my day right, I'm not rushing. So I had to have coffee this morning. I needed to get a shower, just kind of, you know, just kind of settle into things so when you get ready to get on the road these are the kind of things you're going to have to deal with uh and you have to basically go out and back your time back just back into your time so where we're at today is i got here 15 minutes early which is great you don't want to do much more than that because you have to realize something is that you're working on your clock and you've got to maximize that clock if you get here 40 minutes early you just burnt 40 minutes. So once I got here, now I'm waiting on somebody to show up. I go off duty because I'm waiting. So that's that's that. And I want to save my, my 70. Uh, I'm going to be really, really uh, cognizant of my 70 this time because I'm doing this run. This run set up to go out to Kansas, pick up a, a part semi truck and come back. So because I want to be out and back in this amount of time, I have got to really watch my clock. Now, um, you're going to be, I don't know if you can really, uh, look, see here, see where I'm at on this little two lane road. I hope you can see it. I don't know, but you're going to be put in a lot of situations out here where, um, you know, you're going to be in tight conditions. You're going to be um, in less than optimal situations. And the first thing I want to teach you today is if you're not sure about the situation, you stop. You stop. Don't keep moving because... You know, just like a wedge, you can make the situation worse. So, all right, what I'm looking at today is um, I'm, I'm going to take you with me on this trip. Every little bit, I'm going to pop a video. If I'm going to stop, eat, whatever I'm doing, uh, I'll probably even hit it driving at some point so that uh, you guys can see that. But other than that, guys, this is where we're at. I'm... I'm actually sitting here waiting on somebody to come load me now. And this is a big part of it. And things you got to realize that uh, what I'm doing now is I'm now that I'm in the truck, I'm setting everything up, everything up. I'm going over the rate confirmations. I'm going over any kind of special instructions they give me. And uh, I'm just uh, on, on on the hold right now until until they load me. All right. We will see you in a few minutes. Talk to you next time, guys.